Hello everyone, I'm Sam Su from Dinstar. Today I will introduce some uh, very fundamental process for the Dinstar analog gateways. Once you got the uh, Dinstar gateway or your buy from distributor or from uh, Dinstar, you maybe set up your network and uh, access the GUI already. After then you get the GUI, you can maybe configure some very um, important parameters if you want, but uh, make sure you know that, okay? The first thing is I think it's network. Uh, by default, we can use the uh, router or bridge. You know, if you know, if you set bridge, you can directly access your 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 bridge your your network. If you set the router, you maybe your your you have to you you can connect to other you know uh, device by our analog gateways. Here, analog gateway will be the router purpose. Okay, uh, please. Do that if you will know the, the how to do that after then you know the result. At least you maybe you can consult our technical guys or maybe refer to the user manual for, for particular features. Okay. And here we can see that uh, we use the follow address already and uh, set the sub sub subnet and the default gateway by default. This is a very important uh, parameters if you want for the network configuration okay other things the we go to the advanced we go to the main menu here we go to advanced and uh, there are sub uh, menus system parameters okay here got the basically you have to synchronize your date or time uh, please make sure you select or uh, select the right uh, time zone for your uh, Maybe the networks. Okay, if you, for example, you buy our things on gateways, you maybe in from US, from maybe from Australia or Singapore or Thailand, you want to synchronize your time zone. You have to set the these parameters. Okay, and uh, otherwise you maybe got the problem or connect to when you connect to the, your SIP server or other chip device. So please make sure to check this first. Okay, after then. The, the, the you can configure the web port by default HTTP port is AT port okay this is by default and of course you can change to other port if you want and the other one is the telnet parameters here if you for example you want to access the your system uh, environment by the telnet or you want to debug your systems or use the command lines access the systems you can use this part of course you also can change to other parts as well so please make sure if you don't do not use that you just uh, leave here as default and don't don't touch that okay this is a very basic um, or very key features or steps you want to you can go and uh, after then you can configure our maybe other advanced features other core features and so on so please make sure you, you once you get the device you have to check this okay so today i will just end on the all the demos later i will give you some other advanced feature license for example how to configure the core routines how to configure the extension gui and so on thank you for watching bye bye